The Health and Safety at Work Act had come in 1974. In those days, there were no standards whatsoever. Some of the instruction manuals we made, they're cartoons. Well, you've got to have a catchy name. And in those days, PAS was Prefabricated Aluminium Scaffold Manufacturers Association. You can see why we shot the dirty PASMA. Yes. <laughs> In the early days, that there was no training course. In the last year, we trained our millionth delegate. A million? A million? Cracky. PASMA was originally a manufacturer's trade association. All the manufacturers that are in PASMA are selling professional equipment that's approved and meets all the relevant standards. I can go anywhere, really, in Europe now, and they say, well, what's your background? Well, it's PASMA. The Hire a Dealer Committee has been set up to improve standards in the hire industry. Working at heights is so dangerous, so we make sure the equipment is fit for purpose after every hire. I was the instigator of many of the training courses which PASMA now produce. We hired out access equipment and we thought it was a logical next step for us to teach people how to put it up. One thing with PASMA you get is you know that each instructor has been trained the same and you're getting a uniform service. It's nice to go away and feel you've made a difference that they're going to go away and work safely. PASMA is passion. You know, all the members are involved are passionate about what we do. And this is why PASMA's now started to go international. I've got my supervisor ticket and um, yeah, just put up things like these most days. It's only really since 2010 that we've actually had the higher assembly division within PASMA. The things we can do with the towers is even improved. You know, we do build things now that we never used to dream about. Everybody brings something different to the table. We actually did the No Falls Foundation. I'm very proud to be a trustee of that. There are two main factors that I think have led to the success of PASMA. The first one is adaptability. And the second thing is to be absolutely clear the people. The actual people, the strong characters, the, 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 the pioneers, the go-getters. Just a great bunch of people to work with and work for. The people who've driven forward uh, as we have moved from one thing to the next. And there's very few things you can do in this uh, life where you can look back and sort of say that was something positive and beneficial that uh, we did. You look at a tower now and you realise that the people on it are trained and you know that they can't fall from it. A significant part of that is down to the work of PASMA. That's what I've enjoyed being part of, having that influence of change. Not just me, but our teams, the trainers, you know, across the whole of the PASMA industry of the 500 trainers that we've all made a change and probably saved some lives as well. So I think everyone involved in PASMA, you know, in a however smaller way, um, you know, should feel good about it. I think PASMA means uh, a fellowship, an enormous knowledge bank, and, uh, and fun. We're all tower nerds. It's distressing, really. We're worse than train spotters. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs>
if you do get a chance, please take photographs, take film, you know, as much as you can, get it out on social media, really spread the word. Hashtag Pasma50, if that means anything to you young people. Um, we do have a, a photographer, Simon, walking around the place, who is going to be taking lovely photographs, along with our videographer, Martin. So um, if you see someone filming you, don't look. Just trust that you'll be looking your best. Um, so, yeah, do take lots of things. Wi-Fi code is on the back of your name tags, in case anyone hasn't found it yet, for when you're posting. Great. Um, so you should have picked up a program at the front, hopefully. Yeah, that's a lovely, lovely thing. That was looks great. Got some lovely pictures of me in it. So um, that was kindly sponsored by the Test and Research Centre. So in true fashion of any instructor, before I start, I must do a little housekeeping. So we're not expecting any fire alarm test today, but should there be one, you'll see the fire signs so we can escape nice and easily. And the assembly point is by St James's Church on Sussex Gardens to the north of the hotel. So all your health and safety people, that is that addressed. Yeah, any first aid, it, you're a bunch of instructors. We're all first aid trained, yeah? So hopefully that works out okay. Right, so... It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this landmark occasion, uh, the 50th anniversary of PASMA. And as you saw in the video, um, the name has changed a couple of times, but this is the Prefabricated Access Suppliers and Manufacturers Association. So standing here today, um, it is a milestone for me as well. I mean, like many of you, I started off early, you know, it was 21 years ago I joined PASMA. And I remember being at the back of the, back of the AMMs and sitting there going, all these people at the front who know so much more about tower than I do. Um, and it's really over the last 20 years I've worked with these people and moved through various committees and councils and to here I am. So it's, uh, it really is a privilege to stand here before you today. Um, over the past five decades, PASMA has grown from humble beginnings, very humble beginnings. Um, as you'll find out later on, I don't want to burst a bubble with some of the stories that are coming, but you'll find out the first meeting was held in very dubious places. Um, but um, they have moved on and we do use proper meeting rooms now. Um, so it's important that we recognise from those humble beginnings that we've now moved into a situation where we increasingly recognise for our technical knowledge across the world. We've got members, in fact, we've got some international members with us today. Um, I think out on the table there, have we? Dubai and Singapore. And so here we are. You know, we're not just PASMA UK anymore. We have an international element. Um, this journey has only been possible, really, thanks to the dedication and expertise and the passion of the association members, partners, and, of course, the PASMA team. It is because of these contributions that we we're able to be here today celebrating such a significant milestone and thinking about what we may do in the future. As we look back over these achievements, it's important to acknowledge the incredible progress we've made in shaping our industry. So from the introduction of a rigorous training standards to the development of safety solutions, PASMA's technical authority has always been at the forefront of the work at height sector. Our training programs have empowered countless professionals, equipping them with the knowledge, skills and understanding to enable them to work safely and effectively. One of the most impactful contributions to the industry has been the creation of the No Falls Foundation. This is a charity dedicated to preventing falls from height and supporting those that have been affected by life-changing accidents. PASMA was instrumental in establishing this charity, recognising the critical need for an organisation that could focus solely on this mission. The Foundation's work is a testament to our shared commitment to safety and it has already made a significant strides in raising awareness and providing vital support services. But today is not just about looking back, it's about looking to the future. The challenges of the work at Hike continue to evolve and so must we. The next chapter of PASMA's story will be defined by our ability to anticipate these changes and to lead the way in innovation, education and support. We must continue to push the boundaries of safety, embracing new technology and methods that can make working at heights safer. We must also remain vigilant in our efforts to promote and uphold the highest standards, ensuring that every PASMA trained worker who uses a mobile tower can do so with confidence and security. And probably most importantly, we must continue to promote training and offer technical advice and guidance to those who are not fully aware of their duties and safe practice, because that is where the growth is. That is where we make sure we make a real difference. Uh, as we celebrate the past, let's also recommit ourselves to our core mission of making work at heights safer for everyone. 
Whether you are a long-standing member or a new partner, your role is, in this mission is vital. Together, we continue to make a real difference in the lives of those who rely on our guidance and expertise every day. But before we start this afternoon's event, I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for being here today and for your ongoing support of PASMA. Your presence is a testament to the strength of our community, and it gives me great confidence in our future. Here's to the first 50 years of excellence, if I haven't mentioned it already, and continued success of the No Force Foundation and to many years of leading the way in safety. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy today's conference. We have some great speakers up. Um, they're all sitting nervously in the tables around. They've been going through the notes this morning, they've been rehearsing this morning, and they're all fantastic. So I'm sure you will support them in doing so.